Let's talk about the heavyweight scene in general. Um, Anthony Joshua obviously fighting this weekend against Andy Ruiz Jr. Before we talk about the, the kind of prediction for the fight, just tell us what you think of Ruiz Jr. as a substitute opponent for Jarrell Miller. Is he the best that could have been found at the notice? Well, when you look at it um, demographically, yes, I would say so. I mean, people might ridicule the guy purely on how he's built, yeah? But let me tell you something, looks can be deceiving. You know, um, that guy, that kid can fight. You know, he can fight. And um, yes, I would say he's a very suitable um, re replacement for Gerald Miller, who everyone was looking forward to that. He was giving it all the big talk and uh, hmm. uh, he, he was hiding something, obviously, you know. And Ruiz Jr., he's known for fast hands, maybe not so fast feet, but an intelligent boxer, it's fair to say. Mm -hmm. Is that a sort of style that AJ maybe will struggle with or does he just not have the size in terms of kind of reach and height? All the other, I'm not writing the kid off, you know, when you're a heavyweight and you step into that ring and you can let your hands go, he can definitely let his hands go. But really and truly, if you're asking me how do I think this fight will go, I think AJ's got too much in every department for him. Um, the kid's good, but I don't believe he has enough to trouble, trouble Joshua. And Joshua's, remember, every fight that goes by, he picks up more experience, more experience. So he's at a, 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 a stage in his career right now uh, that, no disrespect to Andy Ruiz, no, I just can't, I just can't see what he has to, to, to trouble jo Joshua. We've obviously got Tyson Fury two weeks after Joshua fighting in the US against Tom Schwartz. Mm. What do you make of that fight? Tom Schwartz, Frank Warren said it's okay, he's not the best, but it's a showcase fight for Fury for the American audience on ESPN. Mm -hmm. A lot of people criticise the fight, even though Schwartz got a very high WBO rating. He's very much untested so mm -hmm. far as a pro. What, what do you make of it? Yeah, again, people can criticise as much as they want. They're not the one getting in the ring. You know, um, Fury, um, Fury uh, with the fight with Wilder, he won the fight. Um, in my opinion, he got robbed. Um, he got a draw, but he still got robbed. Um, people, people want blood. People are bloodthirsty, the audience, you know. Um, yeah, of course they want to see him. I mean, you take it away from the chap, he's, the swats, yeah, he's fighting. You know, who else is there? Everybody's protecting what, what they've got, you know. There's so much politics involved, all the different networks. Uh, uh, you got Fury, I call it a triangle. Yeah, you got the Fury there, you got Wild, sorry, you got AJ there, you got Wilder there, you got Fury there. Yeah. And it's all the, the triangle that forms. And it's only a matter of time before the forces meet again. But meanwhile, they've got to fight somebody. And yeah, um, they're going to keep busy having these type of, types of fights uh, prior to them eventually meeting. I'm going to ask you about that triangle in a minute, but mm. before I do, Dillian White is obviously an old rival of yours through mm -hmm. Derek Chisora, of course. Mm -hmm. Lots has been said about Dillian White. He's fighting Oscar Rivas, of course, in mm -hmm. July, which is a good test for mm -hmm. him. But a lot has been said that he's been very unlucky not to have had a world title shot so far. The other side of that argument is that he turned down a couple of final eliminators, or sorry, an eliminator one and, and a final eliminator, and also turned down the AJ fight at Wembley, as mm -hmm. we know. Where do you sit on, the, on this side of the, on the, which side of the argument do you sit on? Is he, has he been unfairly treated? Or should he have taken the chances he was offered? It's just, you know, I, I do feel for Dylan. I really do, personally, I do feel for him because, you know, he, it seems that these, uh, not AJ, with the exception of AJ, um, um, this is aiming purely at Wilder. That he's, some, for some reason, he's avoided, um, avoided Dylan White. Yeah, he's, he's avoided Dylan White because how can Dominic Brazil be taken, chosen ahead of uh, a legitimate heavyweight who's proven, tested, and uh, yeah, I do feel for him for that reason. Um, uh, what I'm worried for him, for Dylan White, is that he might have one fight too many, because the, the fight he had against Tesora was a tough fight, and he was losing that fight. Yeah. He was losing that fight, and he brought his uh, money shot home and he, he beat us. But um, he could have lost that fight. Now, the next fight he's having is also a very, a very difficult fight, in my opinion, yeah? Um, so, it's law of averages. How many of these fights? Joseph Parker, again, that was, yeah. 
Yeah? So, there's only so many times you're going to, uh, especially this is the heavyweight division we're talking about. You know, you're going to get lucky. Um, so, low of averages, he's got to be very careful in my <laughs> opinion because, um, I mean, look, God forbid for him, if he slips up, it's not the end of the world. He's, he's the high caliber operator, he's proved it time and time. So, I, I hope for his sake that, you know, uh, whilst he's having this, uh, keep busy fights and they're all it, one thing you've got to give to Dylan White has never he could have chosen easy route sure. easy guys to fight he doesn't he has real tough fights you know so he deserves he deserves hopefully but you can't really see that happening hope I was going to say hopefully he will get his shot he deserves a shot of course he deserves a shot